Hello, and welcome to the tutorial on how to create your secondary course in CEMS. This segment will cover courses that will undergo a full review by a faculty panel. Courses requiring an affirmation form are covered in a different tutorial. Creating a course in CEMS is the first major step in submitting a CTAG course to be approved. Be sure to view the Getting Started video before viewing this presentation. Before you can submit your course for a match, the course has to exist in CEMS. In this video, you will begin the process of having your career technical courses approved for statewide articulated credit. You will learn how to enter course details, such as catalog information, state subject codes, also known as EMIS or EMIS codes, course title, course description, and clock or contact hours in addition. It's a good idea to have this information on hand before you start the process. Let's get started. First, navigate to the website here. Choose Credit Transfer, then CEMS Support from the right-hand side menu. Click the login icon then enter your username and password. Once you're logged in, click on the CT Program slash Courses tab. This will display a list of your courses at your institution. You will see the course title, type, and an icon that shows if you can edit a course or not. The lock padlock means the course has already been used in a match and cannot be edited. An unlock padlock means you can edit the course. To add a new course, click on the Create a New Secondary Course button. Here you will be presented with the four-step process for creating a new course. The first step is to enter your course information beginning with your course title. Next, choose the applicable EMIS or EMIS code associated with the course by using a drop-down menu. If the EMIS code is not listed, please contact Ohio Department of Higher Education for further assistance. Select the locations at which this course will be offered by simply clicking the box next to each location. If a location is not listed, contact Ohio Department of Higher Education staff. Enter the four-digit year and the term the course was first offered in the effective term box. If you do have an expiration term when the course will no longer be offered, you may enter that date. Otherwise, leave the end term blank. Next, enter in your lecture hours per week, the lab hours per week, and then the total contact hours for the course. Once complete, review the information on this page before clicking on the Next button. The second step is to add any textbooks or additional readings. You may enter the 10 or 13 digit ISBN number, then click on the Lookup button in order to automatically pull textbook information into this field. You can also choose to enter the information manually as well. Once this is completed, click the Add Textbook button. The textbook or books will be listed as you add them to the course. You may add an additional book if necessary by repeating the process. Add any additional readings before clicking on the Next button. Remember, you can click on the Back button to go back a step However, do not use the back button on your browser as this will erase saved information. The third step is to add any additional course data, prerequisite or co-requisite information along with the catalog description. Course objectives and information on assessment should also be completed. Clicking on the next button takes you to the final step where you may upload a document from the drop-down menu. A course syllabus usually a six or seven page document that summarizes the course, the learning outcomes, assessment process, and a week by week general schedule is required. Click on choose file, and then choose the appropriate file to attach to your course. Click on upload and ensure that the document is attached at the bottom. You may choose to remove the document or attach another. You may attach as many documents as you feel is necessary. Choose one of the available options that fits your document description, which includes an option for other. Adding a document also provides for an expiration date if necessary. Once completed, click on the Save option. 
Note that the message, your course was created successfully, will display. If you need to find the course you've created, you may use the search button on the CT program slash courses page and search by course title. Thank you for viewing this presentation. If you have any questions, please reach out to our, our Ohio Department of Higher Education support staff. And remember to complete your course submission by viewing the next tutorial video matching your secondary course full review.